senior aides and supporters said on Sunday the businessman, making his first run at public office, wanted to put behind him his disputes with Republican Party leaders and the parents of a Muslim American soldier killed in Iraq. He is very focused, he knows what he needs to do, I am confident that he is going to start doing it, Paul Manafort, Trump's campaign manager, told Fox News. An Economic Advisory Council announced on Friday was scheduled to have its first all-hands discussion with the candidate on Sunday. Investor Wilbur Ross, who is on the Advisory Council, said on Sunday it was a combination of academics and people who work in the real economy and focus on economic issues every day. None of those appointed to the new Economic Advisory Group are women and many come from hedge funds and investment banking a makeup at odds somewhat with Trump's populist message. The speech, which Trump will deliver to business leaders of the Detroit Economic Club, will build on trade comments Trump made in Pennsylvania in June, Navarro said. Clinton's campaign said she would speak in Michigan on Thursday to lay out a plan to make the biggest investment in good-paying jobs since World War II. The campaign said additional details would be released later. A new Washington Post ABS News opinion poll on Sunday showed Trump trailing Clinton by eight percentage points after her party's convention in Philadelphia. A Reuters slash Ipsos poll out on Friday showed the race closer three months ahead of the presidential election. Leaders of Trump's Republican Party last week distanced themselves from his spat with Kizer and Ghazala Khan, the American Muslim Gold Star parents who criticized Trump at last month's Democratic National Convention. Republicans were incensed when he initially refused to endorse us House of Representatives Speaker Paul Ryan and two us senators in their re-election bids. Late on Friday, he said he supported all three. Former US House of Representatives Speaker Newt Gingrich, who had been on Trump's short list of potential vice presidential running mates, said last week in a Fox Business Network interview that some of Trump's recent actions had been just very self-destructive and that the candidate was not yet performing at the level that you need to. But in a Fox News interview on Sunday, Gingrich said that while Trump had made mistakes, he thought Clinton's errors around a private email server she used while President Barack Obama as Secretary of State were worse. On Friday, Clinton said she had short-circuited when she characterized FBI Director James Comey as having said she had been truthful about her email server. Comey had contradicted several statements Clinton had made about the server.